Today I got the keys. Today I got the keys to 10 houses, okay? And I wanna share with you the most important um, part about being able to do this business. See, most people say, where do I start? You know, what do I do? What do I say? And honestly, all of it comes down to a pretty simple scenario is how many people are you talking to per day and what kind of relationships are you creating with them? You see, one thing that really changed my like mindset about doing you know, like sales or just business in general is that you don't have to do business, you know, with a thousand people or 10,000 people. You can. You can definitely get 10,000 sales from 10,000 different people. I mean, you can probably buy 10 houses from one person. You know, or if you have a business, you probably can get 10 sales from one person. And realistically, if you ask me, you know, a business owner, I've been in business full time for myself for the last seven years. Is it better to get 10,000 sales from 10,000 people? Or is it easier to get 10 sales from one person? I'd much rather choose the latter. See, I like, I want a bigger deal in one transaction. And the way you get that is through relationship. What's up guys, it's your boy Sawan Belcher. This is me taking action right here on YouTube and Instagram. Now I'm gonna do you guys a favor and drop my free purchase agreement. I've used this purchase agreement to close on the 10 properties that I just purchased today, but also hundreds of other properties. So just go to thisismetakingaction.com, pause on the page, and you can put down your email address and be able to download my free purchase agreement. Now with this purchase agreement, you'll be able to lock up property and get control of it. So that way you can either wholesale it or buy it for your own reasons, whether you want to fix and flip Airbnb or keep long term. You see now, now, like I was saying, one of the best things I've learned how to do in the business is talk to people. If you, if you want to get good at this, then you'll be able to, you'll be able to find people that resonate with you. You'll be able to find people that want to do business with you today, but also find people that you can do multiple transactions you know with that one particular person so imagine instead of having one person that sells you one house for a hundred thousand that you have one person sell you ten houses for a million dollars well how much more money could you make how much easier would that business work for you how much faster could you get to your future success or how much faster could you pay off debt relationship is built through you know, conversation, community, follow up, all the things that go along with sales. So whenever you're talking to a seller, you reach out to a seller, they call you back. You need to start breaking down all of the barriers to create the relationships that you want to have. OK, so talking about their family, you know, uh, figuring out where they're from, figuring out the hobbies that they like to do and then talking about those things. Every time you follow up with a seller, it shouldn't be, are you ready to do that price? Are you ready to do that price? You know, I'm about to sell a house, you know, I'm about to buy a house today. Before I run out of money, will you sell me a house? It shouldn't be so transactional. At the end of the day, you do have to do business, but people want to do business with people. Somebody that talks about, hey, look, you know, I'm picking up my, I'm picking up my daughter from school right now. Can I give you a call right back? You know, I saw that you, I saw that you like to hunt. Could you give me some tips on buying my next gun? You know, you want to be able to talk to people so they can understand that you're just a normal, regular, real person and they're the same. And over time through that follow up, uh, a mix up or, or a variety of text messages, calling, email, you know, long term conversation, however long that takes, be willing to take a long, however long that takes then they will choose to do business because you just keep coming up. You see, with this particular seller, I found out that he liked hunting. So I made it my part. He loves hunting. So I made it my priority to figure out hunting. Not that I always want to hunt and that's going to be my big thing, but I did make the investment to buy a crossbow. I made the investment to buy some camo. You know, I made the investment to learn about different animals, deer hunting, feeding them and those kind of things. Because when I do that, I can say, hey, Mr. Seller, 
you know, I know you said you like hunting. Um, I, I'm, I'm buying like, I'm buying some acreage. What, what do you suggest I buy, you know, as far as the acreage go, so that way I can set myself up if I wanna hunt on it in the future. That kind of phone call is not a follow-up about real estate. That kind of phone call is a follow-up about relationship. You're putting them at a higher level, so it's almost like you looking up to them. So it's like non-aggressive. And that gives them like a sense of ease or comfort about you doing business with them. And as you guys progress in your relationship at the right time, he'll say, hey, look, I'm selling 58 properties over the next five years and I'll, I'm willing to sell you some over time. And that's exactly what happened with me. So now just to put this in, in steps for you so you can actually take action. The first thing I did to find this particular person that sold me 58 houses over the last four years, okay, is I downloaded the Deal Machine app. Go to dealmachine.com backslash take an action. That'll give you guys a free trial and some credits to use so that way you can try it out. Essentially, you want to use this app to go around into neighborhoods that you want to buy. Maybe it's your backyard, maybe it's across the street, maybe it's in a different state. You'll be able to pull up their app and pull up a map to find vacant houses. You can buy a list or you can ride around and type in specific houses that you want to target and get their owners and the phone numbers, names and numbers in just three clicks. Next, after you get their phone number and name, be intentional about calling them. What you're going to what you're gonna do is build rapport with them, talk about hobbies, family, and whatever else, but also pitch you wanting to buy their house or would they consider selling their house? Get why they consider selling, the condition of the property, how soon they would sell, and a price commitment, and use that as your follow-up method to build a relationship with them. When they finally say, yes, I'll sell and give you a price commitment, use the free purchase agreement on my website, this is me taking action.com to get it under contract. Now, if you guys wanna figure out how to find the money on it, earlier today I made a video about finding the money so that way you guys can close on these deals with no money out of pocket and no credit. You guys checked it out. Peace, y'all.